When it was first rumored Canadians might be called for, I was keenly interested. When it was announced Thursday volunteers would be called for, I began to think seriously of what part I might play. Whether I should stay at home and see many of my friends leaving, or whether I should join in with the others, or at least do my very best but to But I cannot bear the thought of staying here, of seeing thousands of young men leave here, of only reading and hearing of things done when I might be in it all myself. You see, they intend to enlist 25,000 and Troops out may 4, never 000. leave Canada, the or they may be put on garrison duty in England. Here, I have set my heart on this, and what a great, great disappointment it will be if you refuse your approval. You cannot appreciate what this war means. It is one of absolute extermination, and is far different from anything that any Canadian or Englishman, or in fact anyone, ever dreamt of, as is daylight from darkness. Men will be mowed down without seeing each other, and the loss of life is going to be appalling. Dear mother and folks, dear mother, dear brother, my dear mother, dear mother, dear dear mother dear my dear sister, dear mother, dear my dear sister, my dearest mother, dear now, dear sister, my dear mother, my dearest sister, my dearest mother, my dearest mother, my dearest sister, 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 my dearest She's just the like nicest thing I can do these the days. I hope you do not mind so many letters coming from the PO. You're my great English, comfort. I am fast learning to speak French. I have had no yeah. Canadian I just mail in a week or two to speak this beautiful of, picture and great letter and had a cry over them. Do not have to do drill this afternoon. We'll sit in the room all day at my great and lovely family. Oh, but it's so good to see them and to read your letter. I have been longing for it so much. Dear sir, Dear sir, just a few sir, lines to thank you very much for your kindness in sending the tobacco. It, it, it arrived okay tonight, and you may tonight. take my word that it was simply a godsend. I am very glad you feel satisfied that I am here. We marched for two days carrying half our all, and went into the trench to the music of rifle fire in front and behind and all around, and especially around and close to our heads. When we arrived all safely in the trench, we found found ourselves up to our knees in mud, and and we remained there for 48 hours. For 10 days we had practically no sleep at all, and the shell fire they put on us they was the limit. They got three of us right in our They sure have some fine artillery, and they us. know how to use it. The officer, it was only Mr. our Price, great good luck that kept us from very serious killed. losses. The other man was hit in the chest, and I got off the best of the three. The bullet hit me Long just over the left this, ear and traveled upward for about two and a half inches. Sad news of Luckily it didn't death. hit me square, for it had my head turned, evidently, so heart, instead of going through into the brain, the it just made a fracture of the skull. All within a few minutes of each the man other. with me, he himself since wounded, I see by the papers, dragged me through this mud for 50 yards to she safety. Told me that.